Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Beater Nighttime Reading Test. Monamo a Michael. Uh, je m'appelle Pierre. That was correct. Yeah. I said that right. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So we have here the Cybook Muse with Frontlight. How amusing. Yeah. Oh, 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 good pun. Let's just end it on that note. Yeah, totally. For Goody Beater, my name's yeah, Michael. Bye-bye, guys. So... What we're going to do today is give you an accurate portrayal of the nighttime reading test with the front lit display and all the illumination levels. But first of all, we have it on max brightness. Uh, this is a six inch screen. I noticed that being here in studio, this is a really nice white. Yes, it is. Like it's it's pretty well on par with the, the Amazon Voyage, uh, the Kobo uh, H2O mm -hmm. in terms of screen clarity and overall brightness of the screen. But here at Goody Reader, let's nitpick a little bit because we want to give you everything that we noticed here on studio and on camera. So we'll look at it head on first. You'll see the top 70% is all good. And when I mean all good, I mean edge to edge clarity. It's very crisp. Once you get to the bottom, you see a lot of gray puffing here. See all that? And then suddenly, a millimeter away from the, be the bezel, uh, it's very intense. It's like a white strip. Now we're gonna do some tilts to show you guys all the viewing angles. So there's the bottom. There's the left. The left looking really good. So this grayness is really evident now. You can see in the corner. Top's perfectly fine, and the right's perfectly fine. It's basically just that bottom row that has a little bit of uh, over intensity. Now it's more noticeable on camera than it actually is in person. I notice it a little bit, yeah. But I, I find that the white kind of blends into the gradient, right, so right. it's. I think it's more pronounced on camera, but looking on it in person, it's not that big of a deal. So let's take a look at the different illumination settings. Press the little button down there, see where it says front light, click on that, and then you get this bar here. So what we're going to do is just go through the levels here, and feel free to pause the video anytime you wish. So we'll stop at about half for a second and check this now, out. Now if we told them not to pause the video, and they did, would they be like breaking our rules? I don't know. Because like sometimes we say, you know, you could pause the video and, and do that. And but, people are like, well, I could just pause the video anyways. Why are they telling me to do it? It's, it's, it's because if we don't tell you to pause the video, you are not allowed to pause the video unless we tell you to. So in, in the future, YouTube viewers, you can only pause our videos if we ex if you get our express verbal consent. Let's disable pausing on our vids from now on. <laughs> totally. So we'll go it'll cost two dollars to pause the video. I'm gonna email YouTube once we're done. Okay. This is about 25%. So it's starting to get a little bit dark here. When you turn pages, it's uh, kind of hard to see. And we will go down to the absolute minimum just to show you guys that it is. Yeah, almost, this is it, this is almost unreadable. Yeah, it's almost invisible in uh, in studio. I well. find that like in the studio, this is this would be perfect for reading in the dark. Sure. It's not too bright, uh, but I find that this is the perfect illumination level. You would only really kind of turn it like this if you were like outside uh, reading in a shade, right. you know, under a tree right, or right, you're, right. you're in an alleyway or. Uh, you know, anything like that. Now, one of the cool things about the Cybook Ocean and the Cybook Muse is white text, black page, otherwise known as nighttime reading mode. And this really turns, this really makes it easier on the eyes. Now, it does create some problems with ghosting and things like that, but this has manual page turn buttons. So you could see that now, if you press the manual page turn buttons, you actually bypass any of the refresh yeah. that has been set in your uh, settings. So it was every 10th page, as you saw. If you swipe, you actually get the refresh consistently. So say you're turning pages and you're like, man, it's a lot of ghosting. You can do a manual refresh and then it's cleaned right up. Right. Or you could you could uh, turn the page by just like tapping the very side. Yeah, yeah. the very sides of it. And this again will go to your uh, settings and say if you wanted your refresh every page, 5, 10, etc. Oh, look at all that it's ghosting. 
What ghosting? Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so this nighttime reading mode is only effective if you turn page refreshes completely off yeah. in the settings menu. You really don't want to break your reading immersion by every six page or every 12 pages. Uh, the background suddenly turning white, text black, and then flashing for a second. You really don't want that. But I find that the inclusion of this is actually entirely unique, which right. I find is really cool. So we've showed you everything that the Z Reader is capable of in terms of the frontlet display and allowing you to read in the dark, as well as the advanced customization features. If you have any feedback, comments, questions, or concerns, or if you have any questions about our new pausing po policy, yeah. <laughs> let us know. Uh, for Giddy Reader, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.